old boy. Alright. Alright, what are we doing right now, though? What's the, what's the genius right now? It's about the, uh... We're gonna do it on the, uh... What you want? What you want? What you want? What, what you want? Draw drunk. And we're live. Hello, hello. Alright, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Robert, That's aka right. Robbery, aka Dad, aka Rob Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ivani right here, my Should good check. friend. Uh, okay. Welcome to the podcast. The podcast it's called uh, Dad Knows Best, and uh, <laughs> that's a good, one, motherfucker. Yeah, man, catchy. Dad knows best, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're here to talk about uh, various uh, things with young adults in this era, and. Uh, just uh how we our perspective on it and how we're gonna i don't know i guess kind of talk about it and uh, see where see see if we can come to some conclusions with these with these uh let's see if we topics. can f- see if we can figure them out that's what i'm saying right but uh how's uh how you been doing dog how's it how's it how's, how's it been going since the coronavirus i know it's towards the end of it but uh how's or it is it I know. Or what's or what is the shit right now, dog? Is it the second wave going to hit right now? Yeah. Like, what is it? Who knows, man? I heard that. I don't even think this shit even real, bro. <laughs> but I'm getting that hazard pay, and I'm going to just believe it's real, dog. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you get the hazard pay, it's real, That's huh? all I'm saying, dude. I don't give a damn, dog. No, you're right. We, we working it. But it's crazy. I mean, because, I mean, I heard a lot of people. Well, you know what? I did hear just recently that a lot of people died, but from miscellaneous things aside from it. So but they I just said a, it was COVID. Oh, I have a side story on that. So I have my boss, bro. My uh-huh. boss is uh, my boss's lady, his wife. Mm-hmm. So her father died, dude, just on Monday, like last Monday. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And <clears throat> it was due to like I don't know what kind of like problems he was having and shit like that. I missed that part, but like they're probably gonna say that he went away from the fuck coronavirus, right? Just so they just so they get more money out of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's no, all, you're I feel right. Like it's all money scheme, dog. It's all no, money you're scheme. right. I mean, even in in my story behind it, I have a friend who's friend's friend's dad died old real old grandpa or whatever and uh, he's like 93 he yeah. died from like uh like uh i don't know like a, a, a specific type of just like old age but i guess when they asked the doctor like hey on on the certificate of like how he died why'd you guys put covid instead of just like of old age they're like we get paid literally thirty thousand dollars from the government saying? just to say that they died. Over That's it. what it is, dog. It's all money. Thing scheme, about dude. it is, I ain't trying to die, so maybe we should start talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> government about hey, to come out here. In the wise words of Drake, dog, we here for a, a good time, not a long time. Shut your mouth. I'm hey, trying. we just starting, bro. I ain't trying to die yet. Thirties the new twenty. You know, what bro. I mean? I'm already stressed out. I don't give a damn. Nah, I'm just fucking <laughs> with you. <laughs> We're already adults. <laughs> no, nah, I'm fucking with you. That's funny, man. Yeah, bro, but it's a. Uh, that's good. It's, it's fucking weird that we're living through it, though. Yeah. You know, the whole pandemic fucking shit. Who ever... Bro, I feel like we're in a we, movie. It's weird, though. Like, we've gone through our shit, dog, with, like, the Trade Center, you know, 9-11 oh, yeah, and dude. shit like that. Like, but we ain't having no World War yet. Not yet. And a World War Three, <laughs> Close. It's coming. It might come. I'm going. I'm going. If you're, you're going, down, let's go, dog. Nah, I can't. Let's go. I'm the only <laughs> child. I can't go. You know, I'm ready, bro. I'll, Mom go, can't. I'll go front line if they if they want me to. Nah, nah, nah. You chilling? Oh, you know what? You can go. You got two more brothers. <laughs> I'm a little psycho, dog. Three I'll do it. Hey, I play a lot of Call of Duty, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna we gonna make it overtime on the Call of Duty. Hey, that's funny, man. I know it's been all right for me too. I mean, I think it's been good for both of us too because uh, we kind of just been doing the same things we've been doing. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like Ain't we, nothing really different, huh? Yeah, not for us because we're essential. So. I felt that like because they didn't really put enough like laws and like to protect essential workers. I just thought like fuck it like if they're not gonna really protect us and I'm out here risking my life, then might as well just like just keep doing shit and like hanging out. I mean, yeah. and the thing is, is me and you were both somehow st- like everyone that we've been hanging out with has just been essential. So, mm-hmm. so it's cool that way. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking, I feel better just hanging out with essentials and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but. There's it's also like coworkers and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mostly. Well, those are all really my homies, dog. It's just like my fucking coworkers and shit, my close ones. Yeah. Hold on real quick. Mhm. This was making a noise. Oh, for real? Yeah, you could probably like stand it on on oh, here go, if you want. Way, all right. 
Yeah, there you go. Ah. It, it was making a staticky noise. I was like, oh, what is that it noise? Was fucking, it was fucking up our shit. Yeah, I was tripping. Are we back now? Yeah, back, so, back. so uh, yeah, so it's cool. I mean, it was just a trip because, like, we kind of just been doing our own thing. And then, like, you know, the live little raves, everybody will kind of come over. But, but like I said, we are essential and we're all kind of practicing this, uh, the safety and the social distancing and, like, the, you know. So, we, we've been all right, though. We good. Yeah, we making it. Yeah, so we good. But, um. All right, so here's uh, we're gonna get to the first topic here, and the fr- the reason why I want to talk about this topic is because I've been seeing a lot of uh, finger pointing uh, on the woman and the man side of of things because uh, I've seen I think it's all straight from I mean I could just go straight from Twitter here like there was a there was a, there was a tweet on there of a girl who t- who tweeted something about like do men ever stop cheating or something like that and then i mm. clicked on it it had like a, you know it was like a popular one it was like a million retweets thousand favorites whatever yeah, yeah. i've probably seen it yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then like you know i started checking out the mentions it's just women literally full-blown adults bro like over 21 complaining about men cheating and cheaters and like oh yeah it's because they they make out with their boys instead of their girls or they have sex with their men. like they're just fucking homophobes and all mad about the fact that men cheat this like the thing and then here's another one i mean that's the woman's side and then on the men's side we got men crying about you know gold diggers being sluts and then there was also another tweet that i seen it was explaining like this guy who went into the hospital and he almost died and because of like his weak weird condition his girl left him and got with like some dude. Damn. Or I'm sorry, not some dude. His friend. Yes, that's scandalous shit. Right? Yeah, that's some but scandalous shit. I'm in my in my opinion, I feel like you can see that type of person, like a cheater. Mm-hmm. Like you could see that. Mm-hmm. And like, and there's another one uh, that I told you about, um, where there's a guy in a car, and then like this girl is giving him head, right, sitting in the passenger seat while she's talking to her man on, you know, on uh, on speakerphone. On speakerphone and uh and you know a lot of guys are on the, on the mentions like oh my fucking chest hurt just from seeing this and yeah, this and that and yeah. i'm just like you can see that type of right. woman a mile away and I, I looked at it like i'm not really worried about this because i will never let this will never happen to me yeah. you know i'm never gonna see like and i truly believe you could see that you could you could see that you could see the red flags you know what i'm saying and like right. this ties in directly into the topic of what you want versus what you need in a partner and the thing about it is what I mean by when I say what you need, all I'm talking about is like someone who aligns with you, not 100% because we're never going to find 100% of, you know, perfect. You're never going to find that perfect partner, but, you know, you're going to find someone who's like 80 to 90% beliefs, outlook on life, perspective, work ethic, you know, they're kind of like you, you know, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? How you kind of get along with your friends because you guys are kind of the same, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so that partner's out there and it's like, if they ain't really like that, I mean, I feel like you could pretty much, you know, you could just count them out. But the thing is, is a lot of people just ignore the red flags and they start getting into things that they shouldn't be getting yeah. into. with. Re- and that's just where the lessons get learned, dog. Yeah, that's, that's true. where the lessons get learned, bro, because you're just going to roll the dice on this shit. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's true. As I started, I did. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously, like you and I, we both were like, dog, like this chick's banging. Like, let's try it out, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We had our standards like that. You right. Know? So I was just kind of like, whatever. Like we said, stick shifts and corns, baby. That's yeah. what it's all that's about. How we, that's how we that's picked all we're women. doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're just all about the stick shifts and the corns, bro. I was like, that's perfect. What else do we need, dog? Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. But we didn't Simpler know. We, did, we didn't know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We didn't even know like what came with that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, and what's crazy too is like, you know, you get into like something serious with someone at 18 or like 17 yeah. in your teens that you, yeah. you don't really think it's going to carry yeah, that yeah. far or you don't really know how far we it's going to go. still wet behind the ears, dog. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We didn't even know shit. Right, but what I'm saying is like, I mean, look how far it went. I mean, how, yeah. how old were you when you got into I was, a relationship that... I Okay, it was official like when I was, what, 20, 21? Yeah. She was like, what? She was three years younger than me, bro. Yeah. Like, but we've been talking since like she was 16, you know, like yeah. 18. You know, we were hanging out more and she, at 18 because I was like, all right, now you're 18. You're fucking, you know, full adult now and shit like that. I yeah. just... I respected that whole thing, you know what I'm saying? I let her fucking do her shit, this, this, and that. Like, it wasn't even serious until, like, maybe third year round, dog. Right. Until, like, our real fucking issues started happening, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. That's how that worked out, but. 
<clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah, shit was sketchy though. It was sketchy shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it was in like, and that's the thing. I mean, it's like now it's like yeah. I guess I guess all we. I mean, what we're trying to do now is just getting the experience and just trying to, uh, you know, that raises the standard for people because, you know, like. I mean, because I asked the question on Instagram and I might even go off some answers here, but um, I probably say the best answer that I got when ignoring red flags while going into a relationship, the best answer I got was uh, lack of experience and standards and then too physically attracted to the person. So when all those things come together, you literally get with someone who's probably beautiful, man or woman, and uh, you have a toxic relationship on your hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like it's all i don't know bro it's like if you got the patience to work with that shit go ahead bro by I mean, all means bro <laughs> hey more power to you dog let's see if you can fucking change this one out or not you know yeah what I'm yeah i mean i think that that's kind of the thrill of it i think a little bit you know what i'm saying like hey yeah, yo, let's, let's you, take, i mean let's take shots bro you know what i'm saying let's take a shot i don't give a damn i mean yeah that you okay, but look that that matt that doesn't matter when you're really young you know, when you're older, yeah. you kind of start like, oh, let me start getting pickier yeah, here because, yeah. you know, I'm not trying to just fuck around. I'm trying you're to right find the now. one. Yeah, you're right. Because, like, now I'm upset about the time that I wasted. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I fucking, what, did a seven-year term with that one, bro. Yeah. You know, I was locked down for seven <laughs> years, bro. I, I did, Dude, I came Stay out here, bad. like, I just got out of prison and shit. <laughs> dog. I was like, damn, you know? Yeah, but that's the thing. Is sometimes, like, that is, a, is, is the best experience, though. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it, yeah, I, I for sure, like... And grateful for that, yeah, you know, for the yeah. experience that I did right. and like what I learned from it, yeah. you know. So I'm cool with that shit, right, you know. I right. can't really be upset about it, you know. But it was, it's definitely a whole learning curve, dog. It was crazy, you know. Say like that, that from there, like you know what you want in a female, you yeah. Know what I'm saying like, after you that. already know, like yo, this is what it is. Boom, you know what I'm saying. So the one that like comes at me and hits every point there, dog, like is it? Yeah, Psh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. fucking. I'm trapping that one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, man. I mean, and at the same time, as like as you're a single guy, same here. I mean, because I've been single for four years. You, you haven't Damn. been single at least for a year yet. Not even a year, though. So you're still kind of coming up, though. Right. That's right. crazy how fast that shit was. I mean, it was fast and it wasn't at the same time. I feel like, right, bro. I hurt for a long time though. <laughs> I was mad for a long motherfucking time. That's how you know, it is, looking man. for trouble just to fucking cure that shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's how it is, though. You know what I mean? But yeah. you know, you know, we get over it. We we keep it pushing. We're still mm-hmm. young, you know. Definitely. And uh, yeah, so um, yeah, so ba- going back to the questions, let's see if we got any more interesting ones uh, on some answers of that same question I asked on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, we got this one right here. It says uh, they ignore red flags while going into relationship because you trick yourself into thinking it'll get better or or they'll will change. I've also saw some that said. Uh, you know, they have faith that they'll get better or that they'll change or that maybe they can change them. And those are usually from women. But I do believe that guys try to do that, too. And my only thing about that is like, like, I mean, obviously, that's just wishful thinking. More than likely, it's not going to work out. But let's check out this perspective. Let's say it does work. You know, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a couple years. It's going to take a couple months. It's going to take a... And then they might even relapse to back to their natural way of doing things and thinking. But the thing is, is like, you, you know, you wasted all that time and energy that you could have been putting into yourself. You know, you could have been e- elevating yourself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, see, that's what I... At the time, like, I did a lot of growing, bro. Like... It was weird because I did my shit with her, you know, but I did a lot of grown shit still on top of that. Like, I was... I felt like the man of the house still, you know what I'm saying? As yeah. I was with her and her family and shit. Yeah. And uh, and then, um, yeah, like, I didn't really feel, like, I felt good about that. I felt good about being the man of the house and shit like that, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, coming to me. Because, being the provider. Like, yeah, you know, like, I did as much as I could, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was I was cool about that. Like, that made me feel good. Like, yeah. I, I cherished those sh- fucking things, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. So... But at the, I mean, at the end of the day, it wasn't good enough, though, right? At the end of the day, it was kind of like uh, taking advantage of a little well, bit. Well, yeah, you know because when you're when it's not the right one, it's never going to be good enough. Yeah, you know what but I'm saying? You know, like I said, we learn, dog. Right, you know? right, exactly, exactly. We do. So let's see, and then we got let's see, what's another one on here? But yeah, I mean, technically, everything that we're naming is basically just stuff that like people want. You know, a, a lot of it's like. Uh, surface level stuff, you know, and especially if you don't have that experience or or the standards, mm-hmm. your standards, obviously, like the experience gives you those standards. And uh, as you get older, the standards become 
priority. And so instead of, you know, the looks and the physical attraction, standards come first and the physical attraction comes second. And because I mean, at the, I mean, as I'm, as I'm growing as an adult, it's like, can I even have a conversation with you? Do we have anything in common? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, if, if you can't really get, get into it like that, then it's just, I mean, I mean, for me, it, it t it's starting to get to that point where it's like, if we don't really have a lot in common, I'm just not really that sexually attracted to you unless you're like a 12 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> unless you're like my weakness of attraction, it's like, all right, maybe we can make it work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but more than likely, like I'm really trying to like find someone that you can just vibe with. And, and I'm not even talking like relationship wise. Like, you know, if, if you're just my female friend and we're just kind of dating, we're hanging out. It's like, you know, I'm definitely going to try to see if uh, we can, just just be cool have conversations you know what i mean yeah. i don't want shit to be weird like, or yeah, awkward what we all want you know what i'm saying yeah it's, we want that like best friend slash girlfriend and shit you know what i'm saying like that one night you don't even need nobody you yeah know? like yeah, yeah. that could be your like your ride or die right there you know yeah yeah, yeah. i mean and that's the thing but i feel like a lot of people just get impatient too right i mean because yeah. they get to the point where they're like um oh, like i don't know i mean and that and a lot of it comes down to like just sometimes people are just super lonely and then they like their standards kind of get low and they're like, oh, I don't really like they just get what they can. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Because they don't got options or they yeah. don't know how to create the options. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Step I mean, it up, Doug. yeah, man, Come on and, now. I mean, and here's the thing, like, like partially why I've even even created this podcast is because like a lot of it, I did it so that like we can connect with men, young, young men. And the thing about it is like, like top two or three things why men do anything is to mate. So it's like if you know what I mean, if if you're having trouble mating or if you're tr having trouble attracting the opposite sex, um, you know, I don't I can't really speak for like gays or anything like that, which we will have some on to kind of, you know, help us out through that process. But when it comes to like men and, you know, trying to uh, find purpose and trying to be that provider, it's like if you don't know how to attract the opposite sex, it's like that's a big part of your life that is 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 like lacking and so it can kind of cause a lot of confusion so it's like i want to bring that to attention and like hopefully help some men too if uh they have that problem but right yeah man touch some points on there though you know i hopefully it will hopefully maybe it will you know what i'm saying i think so i think it'll get so. there a lot of people were saying sex appeal is why they ignore the flag. So, yeah, again, like, you know, your standards are kind of low. You just kind of like you just sex want appeal is like look wise and shit like that. Yep. Like, yeah, OK. Yep. 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 Exactly. Right. Let's check out some more uh, some more uh, answers here. Um, oh, you know what? I got a good one. I got a good one. It was uh, and you don't really ignore. I mean, this doesn't really apply because, she, you know, you're not really ignoring the uh, the red flags because. She was saying that, like, there's some people that you meet and then they try to make it seem like they don't have any red flags, right? They kind of just manipulate the situation until your emotions are completely, like, you know, uh, involved with them. And then once they kind of have you, then they kind of just start, like, manipulating you and then their the red flags start to come out. And then it's harder to leave because, you know what I mean, you're already invested. So that that was kind of kind of trippy because I, I didn't really think about that, but... Like I said, you're not really ignoring them. You're kind of just getting fucking tricked. And then, like, that might as well be a damn murderer or some <laughs> damn, shit. You know what I mean? Real, bro. There's some people out there. You yeah, know, I there's believe some, it. I believe it. There's some people. Some fucked up people out there. And I know that for sure. <laughs> yes, sir. And fuck those motherfuckers. <laughs> there was another one on here that was really interesting, I thought. Um, she said, um, by nature, we're fixers. We think we can fix people when in reality, we can barely fix ourselves. We have to be mature enough to see the red flags and accept them for uh, what they are. And uh, she was saying that she just recently dodged a relationship uh, because of a red flag. And her red flags that she identified herself are non-negotiable. And uh, it's a trip because I started coming up with that myself too because it's like, like I would be in really bad situations and I would start thinking like, how the fuck did I get here? You know? Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, you know, I would, you know, backtrack like, okay, this and this and this and that. And then finally, I'm just like, all right, this is why this happened. You know, I ignored that. I ignored that. So now it's like when it comes to even just like women I'm dating, especially women that I'm going to be in a relationship with, like those red flags are non-negotiable too, because later on down the road, you know, if they come up, it's like, I'm going to have a problem now. I'm going to have a problem in my relationship. And if I knew I wasn't okay with it and I still engaged in it, then it's my fault at the end of the day. So hence these people on Twitter, 
complaining about their cheating ass boyfriends, complaining about, you know, their uh, women leaving them for their men, for for their best friend. And you know what I mean? And cheating women, sucking dicks, fucking while talking on the phone to their boyfriends. Like Fuck, dude. you saw the red flags, you know what uh, I'm saying? And it's like and, you know, and, and like, here's the thing. There's people that were saying that uh, I saw some answers where they said, like, toxic people like toxic people. And the thing about it is, I mean, if that's if. You know, if you guys grew up the same and you guys are both pretty toxic for each other, then like you might be in a lot of a lot of pain, a lot of uh, heartache there because you know what I mean? Like you're just going to be engaging in something that's just completely unhealthy. But um, yeah, man, that's uh that's a trip, you know, and the thing is, is a lot of people do just engage in those. You just got to grow. You know, everybody has their own journey and however long it takes for you to grow, then and some people just never change, I guess. You know what yeah. I mean? It's crazy because uh, it definitely like hardens you up a little. You know, like you need that shit. Because when I yeah. started the whole shit, dog, like I was, I let a lot of shit go by, bro. A lot of shit, a lot of red flags go. I let, I just let it all go, dog. Yeah. Why? Because I just like wanted to be happy. You know, I mm-hmm. wanted both of us to be happy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, like you didn't. Okay, so what about this? Why didn't? Why do you think that? Staying with them in a dysfunctional relationship would be better than leaving. Staying with them because I thought like working it out was gonna be. You one thought of the you things. thought you could. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought I could. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'd never really like. I was the only one that had the longest relationship mm-hmm. out of all my homies, out of everybody and shit like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I was like, for that reason, I thought I was like I was doing something right out of it. Oh, you know I what I'm saying? So yeah. I was kind of like, that's true. I could see, bro. That. I'm working it out. Like it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. But like I hit every probably like every fucking point on like how a relationship works. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of like grateful for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not upset about the whole deal and shit. I'm upset about like the time wasted mostly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. it. But you know, I'll get over that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll get over it. Like I said, our thirties, bro, is gonna be like our new fucking twenties, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> yeah. gonna, it's gonna be on and popping after that. Yeah, you know? we're Who good, knows? man. Yeah, we just started, man. And that's the thing too, because even for me, it's like I'm twenty five. How old are you? Twenty seven? 28 i just turned 28 you mean 30 30 <laughs> 30 <laughs> 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 no i was just saying that like um i mean i feel like i have a long way to go for myself i mean like like mentally i'm still trying to work on myself and yeah, mentally i'm still same. trying to you know what i mean like yeah. i'm still just like i have my bad days i mean so mm-hmm. do you well, the cor- yeah dude the quarantine really showed me like where, I'm pretty fucked up, <laughs> yeah, dog. Like, fucking, oh fuck, damn, dog. I'm buying three cases of beer for the weekend, dog. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Drinking during the be- fucking week and shit, shit. Yeah, partying dude, during the week. Cr- it's been crazy, yeah, for sure. This yeah, man. Been you, us up. you know, you fucking checking on me. I'm Straight. at the fucking uh, at the at the at the wa- car wash section at Walmart. Like, you good, dog? You tripping? <laughs> I saw your Twitter earlier, bro. You're looking, you're tripping. Oh yeah, yeah. Remember yeah, that? I'm like, like hey, dog, bro, I don't know. I'm tripping, bro. You good, motherfucker? You know? You know? Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me, bro. I feel I feel it too, dog. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey man, something's been. I don't know. It got a little cloud. I don't know Fuck. what it is. Man. But the sun's out though. <laughs> but we are still feeling upset. About yeah, something. you know, and that's what I'm saying, man. And the quarantine was was. I mean, the quarantine came. I don't know. For me, at a perfect time, I feel like it was a blessing for me. Kind of helped me slow things down, but at the same yeah, time, like really, sure. really start paying attention to what i'm doing and why the fuck i'm doing it you know so mm-hmm. all i'm all i'm saying with that is like uh you know i got a lot of growing to do and like you know if it takes up to 30 or 40 and the thing is is i need to be happy with myself you know right. just by myself i gotta be purely still, just by myself and happy yeah, with it i'm still trying to do that i'm still trying to be yeah. happy with just myself just being by myself but right because i've been with someone for so long dog you right know what I'm that like right. i don't even know how to be happy with myself just with myself you know what i'm saying yeah and it's a trip that you mentioned know. that because, I mean, I've been single for four years. Yeah. And when the quarantine came, I was struggling about the by myself thing mm-hmm. when I thought I was like doing well because, you know, even before the quarantine, like I was cool. Just like, you know, I could just hang out at the house. But at the same time, I realized that like my daily routine in life was distracting me from like traumas or something or like, you know, it was weird. It was I was just trying to distract myself. I didn't even know it. And uh, it was weird. I feel like there was a little bit like. I don't know. I still had to just find that that peace with myself, and uh, I'm still trying to find that. You know what I mean? I, I feel like kind of we we've even stopped talking as much only because, uh, uh, like I'm just trying to like just enjoy my time and yeah. just kind of and like dude. So, and I saw uh, one of my one of my homegirls on Instagram asked on uh, on her story like, "Hey, when the gym start opening up, like who's gonna go back?" And, and it was a trip because <laughs> I was like, "I'm gonna just keep going to the home gym because." Yeah. Like I, I realized that I was getting caught up in the ego shit at the gym 
And then I was like, I want to keep like lifting heavy. And like that started changing on how I wanted my body type. Like yep. I want to keep lifting heavy. I need to get thicker and this and that and this and that. And like, I don't even want that. No, you know 2020. I, mean? I remember that. <laughs> you know? And it's like, <laughs> I don't even want that. And it's like, I just want to stay fit and stuff like that. But it's like, it was weird. I just noticed that I was getting really caught up in the ego stuff at the gym. And I was like, I'm just happier, just like working at my own pace yeah, and not, not getting judged by it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Kicked my ass yesterday. <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> worked out with me for the first time dying over here i can't even feel my fucking arms <laughs> you're crying about the arm all day since you got here it's all good these these puppies gonna look sick for summer dog. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah man definitely a lot of growing to do still yeah, you know what i mean for sure, for mm. sure that's what like i'm like i'm i got that experience with the relationship now i need the experience to be by myself you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying i need that that's why i let like mm-hmm. um like, few women came into my life and shit, you know, almost fucking took me. Almost fucking got me back to where, like, getting into a relationship and shit like that, you Yeah, know? yeah. And I wasn't ready for that, bro. Yeah. Was not ready for that noise at all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I was feeling it. I was yeah. feeling it. I was falling, bro. I was like, well, because Well, the reason why was because that was a good one. Yeah. You know what I mean? That no, was one of the good ones. She was one of the good ones. That was one of the good ones. And Out of th- all of them, yeah. But see, the one thing that I do think that that you can take from that is like she was like so good for you that like you can now understand like okay in a relationship when i'm ready for it that's what i want in a woman exactly you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah. and that's part of like Uh getting the experience when you're single and just staying single and like being by yourself and dating and like things like that responsibly yeah definitely taking my time for sure yeah yeah i have to i have to though right no yeah i mean bro like now i've had more money than i had ever just being by myself single and shit dog. i'm like damn bro i'm starting to see commas and shit i'm like fuck yeah dog like shit and I, that's just for me yeah you know and i don't know maybe before, you were a gold digger or something uh, I, don't know. I don't know bro like shit was crazy shit was crazy bro it, i i tried i did try bro you know no you did you did you gave it a you gave it a fat shot that's I for did, sure bro i tried to do the right thing and uh it wasn't good enough <laughs> I didn't have the millions yet. But see, it know? wasn't even that, dude. It, you were just with the wrong one. You know what I'm saying? Well, That's yeah. Cause people com- change, though. And I noticed that. People do change, bro. What do you mean? People change. Like, in what sense? Like, wh- why are you? Why do you mean that? Just people change. Like, like when I met this one, day one, she was not like that. You know, she, oh, I was like, you know what? You right. raised right. You fucking da-da-da-da. Oh, this, this, I and see. That. You're right. But now people but change. People see, like, oh, shit, money rules, blah, blah, like... Mm, i don't know bro. i get what you're saying though but the thing is i think you did get her at a very young age yeah it that's did. that's probably I, I, one of the yeah i do too. blame that because i was like you know i don't think you're ready and i even i even gave her that fucking shot yeah to dip yeah i was like look if you ain't ready for this shit because i know we're already about to like i'm willing to be in a long relationship because before that one i was in a two and a half year relationship in high school right yeah yeah i was in a high school relationship for like fucking my junior senior year plus summer blah blah yeah bullshit and i was used to that shit already yeah you know what i'm saying like i was never like whoring around like that you yeah. know what i'm saying like <clears throat> so after that when i got into this relationship right away boom you yeah. know what i'm saying like probably months later and shit that i met her and shit like that you know i was djing blah blah i was gonna dj her party <laughs> she was gonna be popping bro it was, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. working out right off the bat right, but she was right. with somebody oh actually i'm gonna take that back I was with <laughs> my old old lady from uh-huh. high school while I was talking to her. Yeah. You know, and that's the one I was like, yo, this is the better one for me. Because mm. well they were she was materialistic, my ex mm-hmm. and shit from high school was yeah. materialistic as fuck, bro. Yeah. Telling me I want a Louis bag for Chris. I was like, bitch, I'm in high school. <laughs> How the fuck am I gonna get you a Louis bag? I'm she in high school. Drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was fuck it was crazy, dude. It was it was wild. Like that right there off the bat, I was like, fuck no, I gotta I'm get out. the fuck out of here because this should go get worse later, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, oh yeah, hella. It was it was wild. Hey, and you know what's crazy, dude? I got a little I got a little story about that. I ran into her. I ran into her like a couple years after I graduated. Cause yeah. I don't know how the fuck she was, but like I parked right behind her, right? And I was like, I was in a I was in a vet at the time. Yeah, it was, yeah. this was like Oh yeah, four, I remember that four, motherfucker. Four years or three years ago. And then I pulled up at the at a at one of our homies, what was it Chicken's house? Was it Chicken? I think it was Chicken's oh, house. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it was because loud as fuck. I remember you fucking turning that bitch on out loud. No, but you fuck. weren't there though. You weren't there. Oh, I wasn't? No, because your ex ex was there. Oh, I remember that part. Yeah. I remember that part. But I, think I didn't you go left. for that reason. Right, right, right. Okay, so I was there and we're just hanging out, whatever, and like I'm just chilling, you know, and then like um 
and then she was talking to me or something she's all like she she literally was like hey uh um you saw that lexus out there and that's the one i parked behind and i was like yeah "Yeah." and she's all like uh oh uh that's mine i'm like okay (laughs) like all right cool whatever (laughs) And then uh, that was it. That was about it. And then, that was uh, it. And then she uh, proceeded to to try to make me take a shot with her on a story. And then yeah. Bianca gave me a shot. And I'm like, nah, I'm not going to take a shot. And then she's like, come on. like take one. Your ex was like, take one with me. I'm like, all right. And I found out later it was water. What? And I still have the video of it. And she made a face. <laughs> she made a face. And the oh, shit is water. No, dog. Don't like, tell me that. Hey, dog. I'm embarrassed don't for you. that You were with her. Dog. I'm embarrassed <laughs> for you, motherfucker. <laughs> Holy yeah. So I would just like to apologize because uh, as you guys know, this is my first time uh, recording a podcast and uh, I forgot to charge the camera. So uh, while we were in the middle of recording, the battery died and uh, I still got the audio. So, I mean, if you guys don't mind, because there's some good stuff in there, uh, just listening to the audio without the video this time and uh, I'll try to make sure that doesn't happen again. All right. Thanks. Damn, we exposing bro. them out here, yeah, all right? I don't give a damn, bro. Come on now. Shit. Who knows where they're up to now? I, I know, man. All right, so here's another uh here's another uh answer. It says uh it says uh they're blinded by pussy. So, I mean, the thing about that is like I mean, when it comes to you don't need to you don't need to get in a relationship for that. You know what I mean? What? For pussy. Oh, oh, you don't. No, no man, no, no. You don't need that. But I mean, I guess if you can't make it happen, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah, you don't need no relationship for that. Nah, nah. I don't know. Sometimes, but if you got it, you got it, bro. It just come rolling out of the woodworks. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right place, right time. I don't chase. I don't chase, bro. You kind of don't. You right? You're I don't right. chase at all. You right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like I'll see what I attract, and that's what I want to see. What I attract, motherfucker. Like yeah. I want to see like what I attract. You know, if I attract something cool, cool. Let's let's, let's talk. Let's, let's chill. Let's hang out. You yeah, know? yeah. But I hear it. I hear it. For uh, sure. It's it's a trip, man. I don't know. Yeah. Um. I got the next one. It says, uh, "Heart is strong. The heart is stronger than the brain. The heart is stronger than the brain." Yeah. So okay, I kind of know this particular uh situation. Well, okay, so. For an example, if you were in a relationship with someone and, uh, you know, right, he or she, whatever it is, you know, let's say you're in a relationship with a guy and he physically, mentally or emotionally abuses you on the daily and then or you, you know, you date a woman and vice versa, you know, she she physic or she abuses you physically, mentally or, you know, verbally or whatever. And, uh you know obviously there's there's something not right there you know what i mean obviously like that partner is being very toxic and not healthy for you and if you decide to stay because of that i don't think that's i don't i just think there might be something wrong with both of them or one of them right because that's not right but uh but i i mean what do you think that had anything to do with the heart or i mean i mean what do you think that because look because you know what in in this situation, I kind of don't believe it, but it's weird because I feel like it has it, it's a little close to home. So I feel like maybe you might have something to comment on that or no. Um. <clears throat> okay, you gotta say that. But one maybe more time, he's though. right. Maybe he's well, right. Well, what was the question again? Though? What was well, the question because again? he was saying he was saying like like if you ignore red flags, yeah. So that you could be with a person, it's because you love them more oh, okay. than rationalizing. Well, that's what it. I was saying earlier. Yeah, you know, I let a lot of shit go by, bro. I did. Yeah. I let a lot of shit go by until like I was like, you know, I guess tired right. of it. Like I was tired of like feeling that way, bro. Because yeah. insecurities gets you, bro, and that's what fucks you in your head, dog. That's yeah. like, that's what gets you like wanting to like go out and fish for something else that's gonna treat you better, dog. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's true. Like, no, you're right. You're yeah. Right. So I, I did. I like I said, I let a lot of shit go by, dog. Like I let like I try to fix shit. Um, mm-hmm. But like later on down the line, I was starting to ask questions. I was starting to be like more like, "What the fuck? Like, hey, what is this all about?" Blah blah. blah. I ain't yeah. comfortable with this. Da da da. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And I feel like it, as a relationship, like we had to be able to talk about those type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like yeah. let's fix the shit, bro. I don't want to feel that way, and I don't want to make you feel some certain type of way. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, For sure. Okay. Yeah. I, I hear this that. This is what it is. Dude. And you know what? what I think is. I can understand this guy a little bit more now then because uh, I kind of didn't really, I didn't really feel that, but. Um, I, I, I can understand that. Let's see. Let's look at the next one here. 
It's not easy to just walk out of an abusive relationship. It's harder than what than you think. It's not necessarily love the person at the point. You can just be scared to leave. Right. Damn, that's uh, that's that's a good point. Uh, that's a damn. good point, man. Who is that? Who is that? Uh, this is. Or should we should this, we like name drop or no? I don't know. <laughs> you want me to name drop? I I don't know. Maybe not. Or maybe you should ask him. Cause he's on live right now. I didn't really think about going on live. He just randomly did it, and I thought maybe it'd be a good idea. Take a drink, baby girl. I got you. Look. So, uh, damn, that's crazy, man. I mean that 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 Ooh, makes that a was, lot of sense. That, that makes kind of wild. I mean, I never even been in that situation, and like from my perspective, I felt that it was always like, like no, it's your fault for being there type of thing, right? But I mean, after hearing that, that makes a lot of sense. My nose ring coming out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think we need a freaking we need to get some more people on here. You know? Dog, what I mean? Yeah. Hey, maybe maybe you could be another victim on the on the cast on the cast. Fuck it. Show. Um. Yeah, that's a trick. I man. I feel like people like lean towards people for like comfort they need that type of person but right. like i don't like like that was me bro like mm-hmm. i was comfortable bro and i was scared to leave i was scared to fucking like go the on by myself yeah. yeah i and i went through a lot of shit bro where like i had to step to the plate quick bro mm-hmm. like real quick i remember like, that I, I never experienced college yeah, never yeah. i wanted to yeah never got to do that dog because i had to get to work and make money quick bro yeah. support you know what i'm saying that, so it was, yeah. it, it was fucking it was weird. Yeah, yeah. So, I hear you. like, for me to have that person there was my comfort. You know what I'm saying? That was, right. like, what made me feel like, okay, I'm coming down on earth. Like, it was yeah, cool, you know? Yeah, but, yeah. like. Kept you grounded. Yeah. That and that's sense. what I was afraid of. Like, when I was leaving, I let a lot of shit go because of that. That you makes know what sense. Saying? Yeah. I was afraid of that shit because I was a. And I it's, was like lonely, dog. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Especially because you're just going through those other personal shit in the, yeah. you know, in yeah, the house yeah. or whatever, right? Yeah. And it, and it's Family great. Wise and all that bullshit. Yeah, and that makes sense because like, like with everything else going on, all that crazy shit. It's like, is if I just had a, like my girl's cool, like we're cool, like all right, that's one thing that's like that's okay. You know what I mean? So I mm-hmm. guess I can kind of, I guess I can kind of understand that. That's a trip. We got one saying here. Uh, we're ignoring the red flags can also come from traumatic experiences as children so yeah i guess i kind of like more of like you kind of were raised in a broken home so that's that would probably be the cause of that and um yeah so i guess that makes sense too yeah that's crazy man wild shit dude but that's just what it is for me man it was uh but now like i'm saying like being fucking um like single now and learning to be fucking single like i'm not gonna lie dude the first fucking few months were hell dog mm-hmm. but i did not cry didn't cry about it bro i had mm-hmm. more anger in me like i said dog i you knew you know me bro i was looking yeah. for fucking trouble dog we would yeah, drink just that. to go out and fucking like all right let's go see what's up let's go blah, blah, blah. let's go to the show let's go let's go hit pits like it was wild bro like we for. just yeah, exactly that's yeah. why we hit, that's why we do all that fucking shit you know like, yeah yeah it's just funny. a lot of stress, just a lot of stress, anger, and like, uh, dog, like it was, it was wild, bro. That fr- the first few months, and not only that, but I had to work and stare at these fucking towers, dog, that were like killing me. Oh, that's right. Every you want to day, tell the story I, or what? Uh, I mean, you got name drop, but <laughs> it was. Uh, you don't got a city drop either. You want you want me to talk about what? I don't know about like why you hate the towers so why much. Why hate the towers, bro? I mean. Um, nah, I guess you don't really got it. Nah, now nah, we'll, we'll get into yeah, that. we'll get it later. later down along. If these fools like our uh, our topics, curious, yeah, you know, curious about you it, know, yeah. they got they want to get to know me and shit. <laughs> yeah, we get we get messages on the on the live too. All though. right, let's do it. Tell them to ask some questions. Some on there. people just don't know how to be alone or hate being lonely, so they stick around enough so they know they deserve better. Okay, until they know they deserve better. Yeah. I guess, or I guess, yeah, I guess that Here's makes sense. Here's another one. Here's another one. There's, uh, there's more to it. There's more to it. What people see or hear being on the outside of the relationship. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of emotions involved. You know yeah, what I mean? There's emotions there's, for sure. Like, but you can't put all your emotions there's a lot in of, right away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, if you're with him like for a long time, like you said, you know, because there's the history, there's the emotions. There's a lot of reasons why you, it, that you don't want to let it go because, mm-hmm. You know, there's uh there's a lot of invested. You know what I mean? Right, right. I guess hence that kind of hence is why it's like our bad, you know, our bad decisions is like our our bad. I guess our low standards of like I guess kind of picking picking uh picking um 
partners you know we just don't have enough experience and stuff you know what i mean and like now yeah. i'm just at a point where like well, that's uh, what fucking life is dog life is just about learning shit yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying you live and you learn dog that's what it is what's crazy though is like i always thought like maybe we were like you know as human beings we were like really bad at at picking partners <laughs> you know but the yeah. thing is is one thing here's here's like a, a few crazy parts that i that i learned that i read um I read it. I read somewhere. I mean, I'm not gonna even quote the freaking article, or I don't even where. I just remember seeing it. It said that uh, women's attractive uh, attraction to men sometimes is a lot more biological than we think. And uh, they did a study where um, there was like men that had like more symmetrical faces, aka more good looking than other men who didn't have symmetrical faces, aka not good looking. And they wore these shirts like um for a week without washing them right and then the women chose the good looking men um based off the scent they didn't even know that they were good looking they just liked the scent and they like and they were the good looking ones you know yeah. that's crazy to me oh, that's that makes me even but see that kind of gives me a little bit more like comfort because uh you know if someone's not interested they're just not interested mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. and it could be biological or it could be surface level or it could be both you know what i'm saying and mm -hmm. it's like guys do not fucking keep pursuing women if they say no for <laughs> fuck's sake man hey i was doing it for a little while dog and what then you what mean? what you I, mean but th when they say no to you bro i'm like you need to fucking no no i'm not saying you see i'm i'm talking about women that are not even attracted to you oh shit yeah no because oh women that aren't attracted to you. yes yes, yes, yes yeah, yeah, yeah i'm not i'm not saying like if they're you know if they're engaging with you and they're saying no to you yes that's different i'm just saying like if if they're not attracted to you you know what i mean but um yeah i thought that was a trip man and i think for men like men mostly pick women just based off looks and i just think that's just generational you know what women I mean? attract males Wait, what did you say? Oh, women attract oh, women attraction women's attraction to males are more chemical than men. Right. I agree. I agree. Is that right? I mean, well, yeah, man, because they they like the elf like bro, cuz look, here's the thing. It's like why you think you see like fine ass chicks with some freaking hood motherfuckers, bro? Yeah, cuz they're just yeah, beasts. They're, they're just beasts alphas, shit. you know what I mean? I mean? And they're like, I don't even know why I'm here, but I'm cool with it in the freaking Honda Civic with the <laughs> with no freaking hubcap. Straight working at Caesars and shit. The little Caesars like whatever, but you look bad, you're fucking da da da, you know what I'm yeah, saying? You know? Shut you got the, the freaking fuck. gorilla hands, you know what I mean? She like that, you know? She like the shaved head. You know, shit. Yeah. She liked shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever. That's funny, man. Yeah, man. I thought that was a trip. And uh, yeah, I mean, and like I was saying, I think men's attraction just comes mostly from like uh, physical, just physicality. Physical. I think that's generational. I think, you know, my dad, you know, our parents, dads, 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 make sure they're pretty, make it's sure they're physical. pretty, you know? Yeah. You know? And I mean, that was my thing. Like my last two relationships. I mean, I think I've probably been in just what, two serious ones, I guess. Yeah, you're right. First one was like five, six years off and Second on. Second one psycho. Second one was like three years. <laughs> they're both psycho, dude. <laughs> honestly, you know? But like, it was crazy because it was, it was so bad. The last one was so bad, but like the, the, the physical attraction outweighed all the bad but that's how much she met my you know uh standards physically mm -hmm. and so i was willing to put put up with that forever man and like i don't know i guess you just kind of you know my experience the reason that helped me walk away from her was like like before her and during her and after her i was always just like sacrificing things working real hard doing a lot of you studying think you're doing the right shit though yeah yeah but i'm just saying like for me like you know for my life you know i was doing a lot of things mm -hmm. like sacrificing going to school going to work oh. doing crazy stuff stuff like that yeah. you know what i mean trying to stay physically you know uh attractive and actually tried and like i felt that i was doing all these things just for like so that like a toxic woman can come in my life and just like change all that or fuck it up yeah you know and like she probably did like nothing to earn or deserve <laughs> anything that i was earning you know what i mean and that i was giving her and so for me that was like my switch for me where i was like okay like physicality is not all it for me because like you know it just could just you know derail everything you're doing or just literally it could be a decision away you just fuck your whole shit up you know what i mean right so i mean yeah man that was my that was my turning point right That's there shit right there huh? you know <laughs> it was a trip man damn dog it's uh it's wild dude it's wild as shit like things that we've all gone through though you know yeah yeah it's really wild 
And again, man, like I said, I just, I just, I just want to bring, I just want to bring uh, accountability to all this stuff, man. That's just yeah, like my yeah. that's Help like, the little homies out, you know. You know, and uh, for sure, you know, like because I'm tired of men complaining, I'm tired of women complaining. I mean, the biggest thing on women, women culture is like, uh, you know, the men ain't shit movement you know man, what I mean? it works it's both ways though no facts bro no. i don't even think like it's all dudes and shit like women can play the part way better than us dudes dog <laughs> yeah. way yeah. better yep that's why i don't even feel bad for women anymore <laughs> why yeah. because then bitches could just fucking i'm sorry these females <laughs> i'm sorry these <laughs> females could just up. fucking Yo, someone take that beer away from them <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> These females got it, bro. They they got the upper hand, bro. You, yeah. know, you already know. They yeah. know us as dogs, bro. You know mm-hmm. what? And those are our fucking meats, dog. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So yeah. they, they know, can they, move on yeah. way quicker than us, dog. Yeah, like right. We suffer a little bit more. We hurt a little bit more. Yeah, but we're yeah. assholes for that, you know? Yeah. And we're, yeah. And we're assholes for that? I mean, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It could be nature. Just nature, you know what I mean? Mm. I mean, the thing, also what I did want to bring up, too, is like, um, you know, that... Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of guys that I hear that talk about how like women, uh, there's not there's not like there's not like real women out there no more. You know, there's not, there isn't women that like would ride for you no more. There aren't women that like only just talk to you anymore. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't think that's true. And the thing is, is that's that's causing a lot of like fuck boy behavior in men culture right now because. It's Definitely like the fucked. younger the younger generation for sure. I mean, I was there for a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I am younger than you, but I was there for a little bit where I'm, where it's like, yo, these chicks don't give a fuck about you and this and that. But the thing is, is like, not all chicks are like that, you know. And, th- and not only that, it's like, you can you can spot the ones that are, and you can spot the ones that aren't. You know what I mean? And the thing too is, is like, for a while, I I was like, why do I keep running dating into chicks that are just like crazy or that just don't give a fuck or like the ones that I don't want. And it's because that was my, that was my preference. <laughs> you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, Oh, I'm with that too. I was the same way, bro. The yeah. way you were too was how I was, dog. Preference, yeah. fucking all that shit. Yeah. You know? Didn't even fucking worry about later on. Yeah, it's yeah. It's just about like, yo, this piece is it right here. Right, you know what I'm saying? right. She fit the part right now. Yeah. But the bitch is going to wear out later. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Let's see. What, do you, what else we got? Let's see. <laughs> It says women hurt right when it happens and men hurt way after. So excuses or excuse us for moving on when you guys decide to start hurting long after. Eh, I don't know what that means. I'm good. I've always been good with breakups. I mean, like saying that like we like what she's saying that what? I got glasses on so you got to excuse me. And I'm fucking blind. You're an idiot. Take off your your, You look like an idiot right now. You're inside wearing glasses. On the first podcast, you oh, do that like on the, this. We we right under the light, dog. Like it's <laughs> bright as shit in here. You do that after the third podcast, uh, the thirtieth. That's who thinks he's a rock star right so now. So you're saying that like it's easier for men to move on quicker than chicks? Is that what you're saying? Um, I don't. I don't it's I don't, not. I think I, it varies. I believe, it's not. I, believe I it's, think it varies. I believe it's fucking. Um, I don't think. I don't look. I think it depends who puts more work in. That whoever puts more work in hurts the most after. Oh, I feel that. That's what I believe. I feel that too. That that's kind of true. I just think that's the whole truth. You know, I mean, I, I, I can honestly say right now that like I'm still fucked up about it. Yeah. Why? Because I did so much for somebody, dude. Yeah. For fucking seven years. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So fucking much. Mm-hmm. You know what? Like, then that just kind of like, it's gonna suck for the next one because like, is it loud? No, you good. All right, you're it good. sucks. It's gonna suck for the next one because. Um, it's going to be a little more like tougher for her to get me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not going to give myself so much. Yeah. But the thing about it is the one, I th- the one, the one that's going to be the one for you isn't going to be like that chick though. That's what I think you're thinking though. Oh, that's true. You're right. You're so right. you're not going to have to have yeah, your guard yeah, yeah. up like that. But it all starts off good. It's always going to start off yeah, good, dog. Right. It's yeah. always going to start off fucking perfect. Like a fucking fairy tale, dog. Yeah. Yeah. But shit can hit the fan fucking within a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Nah, shit, I don't think to so. To me, dude. I don't think shit's serious till second year in. Yeah, but the thing first I'm, year's all puppy love shit. We're all gonna be fucking perfect, bro. Blah blah blah. Yeah. You know, second year's when shit gets real, bro. Yeah. Why is that bitch looking at you? <laughs> or what the fuck? Or da 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 da? Or who the fuck? Like, like I don't know. Just shit's gonna come up. Shit's yeah, but come I, th- out of the words, I think bro. that stuff comes early, bro. I just think it came late for you because you got in that relationship real early. That's what I think. Maybe. I don't know. You know. Well, I was trying it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get well, it. Well, because I was in a fucking long relationship before that. 
Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, I think I got it. <laughs> you know, but, uh, I can't hear you. That. Can't hear you. Wrong about that. Yeah. Actually, he's over here, well, you got more questions on there? Mm, no, not right now. No one's hit me up. Let's see. We got uh But you gonna drink that beer, motherfucker? Or what? Yeah, bro. I'm we, just chilling, bro. I'm over. Feeling, we feeling Friday night already. You need to relax, bro. We gotta finish the podcast. I'm first. about to get angry and shit. <laughs> Talk about these females and shit. You know? Fuck. That's funny, man. Yeah, man. I don't know anything else you want to talk about right here. What we got? Fuck, hit me with a topic, bro. I'll go off on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right. All right, let's see. Did I get another thing? Let's see. Exactly. Uh, Every female is different. You can't bring the problems you had with your ex into the new relationship or you will never work. Always mm-hmm. have a fresh mentality. LOL, he's babysitting. What the fuck? Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Damn, yo, Ace. All right, shut let's your do mouth. it. All right, let's do it. Here's a good one. Hit me, Doug. Um, it's not a topic. It's just a question. Let's go. Um, have you ever fell asleep during sex? Ooh. Have <laughs> I ever fell asleep during sex? Yeah. No. No. Fuck no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I'm. I gotta be the one putting work and shit, motherfucker. How am I gonna go you're sleep? You're always the one putting work. I, you're the workhorse the whole uh, time. I yeah, I'm the work. I'm the fucking. I'm the workhorse, Doug. You know what I'm saying? I'm a pleaser, Doug. You're a pleaser. I like to say I am. All right. Uh, I think Why, I fell. Have you, motherfucker? I think I fell asleep like two or three times during sex. Yeah. Then what was that? Trash. I know. I think I just like the interest level was just so low, and then like I kind of wasn't <laughs> really in the mood. I think that's kind of what happened, honestly. <laughs> It's that, a trip. That's man. a good question, though. <laughs> it's a good one, huh? It's a good one. But no, I have not yet. Not, not yet. saying that I fucking <laughs> been dipping my shit in a bunch of bitches, but like or yeah. females. You need Sorry to relax, bro. Damn, dog, dog. You already know I got the sailor mouth, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Whatever. Yeah, you need to calm down with that beer. Is what you need. You just drank that whole forty right there. Was that forty? You're a schmuck. We feeling good Friday night. Anyway. Yeah, so my whole thing was for accountability and to let guys know that, you know, <clears throat> there's a, there's good women out there. You know what I mean? Yep. And uh, Be patient. And it's crazy because even lately, like, I haven't, you know, like I said, I've been a lot more strict about the women I date. Because normally I'm not because, you know, I feel like I know I'm not going to get her in a relationship with them. But the thing about it is, like, I'm just trying to preserve my energy. You know what I mean? If I don't got to freaking, you know, if I don't have to... Uh, you know, waste any energy on, like, some drama that's unnecessary, you know, like, I ain't gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? Rob, it's Rob Boogie. What you got on there? They're talking shit, they're like, Rob, a.k.a. Adam 22? <laughs> no, it's Rob Roken, a.k.a. fucking what? Dad. Dad, what, what was, what's cast? Dad knows best. Dad knows best. It's Dad knows best. Here we go. That's funny, man. No, I've been drinking prior to this fucking 40. Yeah, you have. You need to relax, my boy. Shit, that's funny, man. But yeah, man. I mean, and that's the thing. And I think, I think people need to stop crying about, uh, you know, their relationships. I think uh, they're the ones who picked it. And the thing is, is if you're a toxic person, then you know you gotta you gotta do your own homework as far as, uh, you know, trying to better yourself and picking better partners. And that's probably gonna start from you first because you. Yeah, pick, don't go for looks. You're, you're the problem. Don't yeah. go for looks, bro. I mean that, yeah. I mean you, you know, kind of have to get it out of your you, system because that's what you're doing oh, yeah, right yeah, now. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I mean you're even di- sure. you're even dealing with a questionable one right now, and I'm kind of like I'm not really fucking with it, but I don't care. I'm having fun. Yeah, you but you get, saying? I'm yeah, learning. Yeah, but keep the drama out the group. You know, uh, dog, come on, bro. I know, and I can't even talk shit because drama entered the group because of my woman <laughs> friend. <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh, yo, you know what? I'm freaking. Rob spin facts. You know, from homegirl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> yeah man i was saying like because uh yeah man i was i was over here freaking i was over here t- uh talking shit talking about like you know being pickier about your chicks <laughs> fucking my freaking homegirl or you know woman friend over here Ooh, out here, here. Go. This is good, good story right here you got freaking good. you know i mean it's just a random story i guess they don't, don't really got anything but it just no like meaning really like it. why why like that gives you think about these females like what the fuck you're right are you because you never would have thought from that one. I I swear to God I didn't. You know what I mean? I thought I was legit, bro. Yeah, I same. liked her. Same. I thought I was like, yeah, she's, she's tight, cool. Dog. She's yeah, cool. kick it yeah. with. Her. And that's the thing. And maybe you're right because I mean, I mean, and that's the thing. That's why you got to really take your time when it comes to dating these women. Even if you're, you know, even if you're, uh, you know, thinking about 
you know keeping them as like in a relationship like take your time getting to know them in the dating shout process out to hollywood uh yeah shout out to hollywood because that's who she was he on the live too uh, all right all right it's yeah. on bro we on the podcast baby <laughs> Yeah, you got to take your time with that. Shout and out to my aunt, too. She on the live. <laughs> <laughs> Man, maybe they actually go on live. I got to get, like, two phones over here. Yeah, let's you go. Know? Let's go. But, my uh, bad. I'm fucking you up. Nah, you good. You good. But, uh, yeah, I was just saying, you guys got to take your time with it because, uh, yeah, if, if uh, you know, because, like I said, I mean, I was, I was blindsided by that. And the thing about mm-hmm. it is it didn't piss me off because, I don't know... I don't know if I just my expectations and my experience like don't really it don't really surprise me that that happens. I was a little surprised that it happened with her. Yep. You know what I mean? And the main reason why I was upset is because you know, cuz she told me, you know, she ended up telling me like, "Hey, look, I was hanging out with your homeboy and uh, yeah. you know, I just want to let you know and I don't even know what the fuck was going on or why I did it and this and this and that." And I'm like, all right, well, that's cool. I mean, are you good if I kick it with your homegirls? And she's yeah. all like, well, nah. And I'm like, well, then what the fuck? What you the know? fuck is the deal then? Yeah, it ain't, ain't going to be one-sided. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, so it was just kind of weird. It was just one of those things. But, I mean, I felt like I felt like I know her very I known her very well. You know what I mean? But and th- at the same time, you know, we aren't serious. But it's like, damn, dude, like, you know, you could have done it with anybody. What's up? Yeah, dog. But um, hey, this, thing is, this is interesting to hear. You know what I mean? But uh, it happens, you know, and and the thing is, I wasn't mad at my boy, and uh, but hey, but here's the thing, here's the thing that I wanted to get to though about that is, one thing that I thought was crazy was like, um, cause Ivani knew about it, but uh, like he was kind of in the middle, you know what I mean? And I was kind of upset, and normally in situations like this, Ivani FaceTimes me sometimes at work, and we be talking, and his 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 coworkers come like a pussy, and like we're pussies and shit. <laughs> and it's like, hey, dog, we're homies, like we're real homies, because look, because look, the way I was rationalizing it when I found out you knew, when I kind of knew you knew about it, you didn't tell me. I was like, like because before I say this, I just want to say like you've proven to me over the years that you are a friend of me. You know what I'm saying? And like he's been there for me, like for real, for real. So like, like, but sometimes he's a fucking jackass you know sometimes you're a little fucking bitch you're a little jackass sometimes and like i'm just like you know what this is just one of those moments like this was a jackass like fuck it sometimes he could be a jackass yeah and man. then uh we went off-roading just me and him one day and then we started like chopping it up and we talked about it and and it was crazy because like i said normally in a situation like that the guy in the middle or the person in the middle you know we're in high school and, or in other situations they're fucked like because you didn't tell me and this and this and that yeah. but when I when I when we talked about it, he was just telling me like I totally understood where he was coming from. And basically what he was saying was just like, like, dude, you guys are both my homeboys and like you're in the middle. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? How'd you feel about it again? Man, it was weird. It was like like I said, I was in his position before. Right. And I knew how shit was gonna end. Mm-hmm. And I was not down for that. But at the same time I knew how he was and I knew like yo he's he's a he's a cool, he's a good dude. He's a chill dude, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. there's no threat to this guy yeah, besides yeah. his good looks. But, but you did, <laughs> and you did warn him too, yeah. That motherfucker too good looking. That motherfucker never seen eyes like that. <laughs> Fucking bluer than I don't know what. Anyways, but this motherfucker uh I was just cool. Like, I was just letting him do his thing because, like, he's going through his shit. I'm glad you fucking stepped out of that shit because it was going to be, it would have been worse. Yeah. So I was just letting him do his thing, bro. You know, if you needed someone to talk to, maybe she was a good person to talk to. I was just letting it go, bro. You know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But I know he wasn't going to push the limits to it. I know I was like, you know what? But I did let him know, like, hey, yo, like, this is like, you I ain't trying to, I, I don't want no female to ruin this shit, bro. Like, yeah, you're yeah. my close homie. You're my work homie. Like, you're a good guy, and I know you're a good guy. That's why I brought you in. Like, we're good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This is also my other good homie. I know he's crazy. I know he's kind of wild. I know he's a rock star. <laughs> like, dude. But there's just, like, those things that, like, yo, I wouldn't want to cross either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless, like, unless we're, like, yo, we're both cool with it. Like, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. We're both on the same page. Like, oh, it's cool. Yeah. You're not. You, you, you helped me out, dog. Yeah. You did help me out, like. When we all partied together and shit, we yeah. just brought fucking homegirls through and shit. We went to the bar, we cut, we hung out, like we hung out, blah, yeah, blah. yeah, yeah. So it worked out for me, bro. So I thank yeah. you for that because be, if it wasn't for that day, like I don't know, bro, shit would have been. I probably would have been all fucking ass hurt still about the bullshit. I don't know, dude. Yeah, man. yeah. And that's the thing, dude. It's all like it's all love in the you know in the first yeah. place. And it's like if you're the homie, you're the homie for real. You yeah, know what I mean? For real, exactly. And it's like and 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 that was the that was the number one thing too when it first came up was like I'm not gonna let this shit 
fuck up my relationships. Yeah, with I don't my really homies, know you like know the I mean? whole complete shit to it and shit like that. But like, she should have knew better. Yeah, no, you know what absolutely. Like, no, she knew d- what she was getting. And listen, look, she shit. she gave me a reason why she gave me a re- look because I I'm a I'll, I'll even talk about the reason since she's not even here to to defend herself. The reason was that, uh, like I made a plan, like some plans with her. I think like once or twice, and I just completely bailed on her. Yeah, but I'm just like. It's still, it's like still not excusable, and she agreed. You know, she agreed. Like y'all, so it's like on some uh, like spiteful shit or something. I don't know if it was like spite- you fucked me over. You're probably hanging with some other bitch. Blah blah. blah. See, like I don't know. Knows? I don't know. I don't know why I had to go. I don't know why I had to be the homie. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and exactly. I, and I couldn't really get a real answer. And the thing is, is like, do I even want a real answer? Yeah. Look at that motherfucker. He's too handsome. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Do Hollywood. I really want to know? You know? Hollywood, you better be in the next fucking <laughs> movie and shit. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> The next Paul Walker, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know what I mean, but you know it yeah. is what it is, and like, like I said, at the end of the day, like you know, I'm not gonna lose my homies over that shit, and yeah, that no. was just you know, I wouldn't that, want that either, and I still know this fool's he's a good dude, he's a good dude, bro. Yeah, I like I, and I and I know a good dude when I fucking see him and shit, and I meet him and talk to him and shit like that, you know. Yeah, but like that was the only hiccup that we had in the shit, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But right. that wasn't because of the homies. Mm-hmm. Right, right, exactly. You know, right, like right. that came like it takes two to tango, dog. No, you know right, what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, but it's then you old. warned him, right? Yeah, yeah, I did, him. I did, like, I did, hey, straight just... up. Yeah, I did, I did. Yeah, and uh, so. so he knew, he knew and shit. But like, you know, it's all, it's all over with now. Yeah, like, yeah. Dude, like let's just go on, bro. We all <laughs> kicking now, Hollywood. Let's kick it, dog. Yeah, Come okay. on. You know, that's funny, man. It's fun, bro. It's uh, not fun. But it's funny, but like. The shit that happens, bro. The shit that happens. The shit that we go through. Yep, know? yep. That's facts, man. Okay. But the reason why, too, I wanted to be, like, more, more, uh, uh, I wanted to be more uh, <clears throat> picky with the women that we bring around is because we cool as fuck, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they want to come see what, what's going on, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, yeah. you know, but... I feel like I'm a little bit more pickier than you, but I know you're just having fun. I was like, damn, dog. Like, <laughs> like uh, I don't want to fucking up the group, you know, yeah, or like the drama all right, shit. You all know? Right, all that right. was the only reason. Hey, but, but that's what we got to know, though. That We got to know that this true. shit is homies, bro. That's like, true. we can't just let think, this shit happen, bro. Yeah. And, and I do want to be open with shit like that next time because, like, but, I was just like, this is the first time this happened. I was like, fuck, bro. And I was in his fucking shoes, you know, mm, yeah. way back. And I know how shit ended. I was like, fuck, dude. Like, <laughs> Dog. like mm-hmm. what the fuck nervous as fuck. Yeah, i kind of was bro and i was like <laughs> man bro but you my boy too you know hollywood's my boy bro and i'm trying to help out hollywood because he just got out of his bullshit yeah yeah with his crazy ass chick dude and and it's it's like, a trip dude because i even had a homie who hit me up recently too because yeah. i was gonna say man you should have just told me i would have hooked him up but like i don't even talk to chicks like that you know what i mean yeah, yeah. And it, i mean because dude the toxic ones just let you do whatever you know they just you know what i'm saying but it was funny because uh, a homie hit me up like today at 3 a.m. Like, hey, dog, you got a homie out here in this city? And I'm like, or you got a girl out here in this city? I'm like, <laughs> I was gonna uh, say, wait, wait, he's like, no. what the fuck, dog? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, nah, dog, I don't, I don't really talk to girls like that no more, dog. It's not really my, it's not really my move no more. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's just whoever kicks it, like, let's just have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. Well, let's show them around. Let's show what, let's show them the ropes <laughs> and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we're a good time, dog. Oh, like, yeah, when absolutely. we go out and shit, motherfucker. Like it's it's on and popping. There's always something going down, bro. If it's not about to fight somebody, it's like <laughs> we I don't know something. It's always something, bro. And that's funny. I man. think they get a kick out of that shit. Yo, bro, yo you know. That's but we definitely need someone that's down for the lifestyle that we have, though. What you talking about, though? Like, like our girls? lifestyle, dog. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, for what? I mean, what you mean? What the fuck? You wouldn't want someone to, like that's down for our lifestyle, dog. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess it's cool. I mean, I don't need no one. I mean, oh, I'm not saying the homies, you need you know what I mean? right now, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, late or something. Oh, you know? oh, so you better be down oh, for our oh, lifestyle you're t- shit. You're talking about like uh, dog, you don't even know how many times I get called crazy. Right. Like handsome and crazy that, yeah, yeah, are yeah. my two fucking like biggest <laughs> fucking uh your compliments. Like, yeah, like that should just be my fucking middle name or yeah, something. Yeah. You know, like. That's funny, bro. I mean, I guess I, I mean, y- yeah. I don't know. I guess you're right. Maybe we need to just go to more punk shows, meet chicks there. But then all those bitches have like, I'm sorry, females. Jesus Christ! <laughs> all those bras have like problems and shit. That's why they go to the pit because we go to the pit for our problems, bro. Maybe and we go there to go fuck shit up, bro. We don't go in there to be fucking having fun and shit. We go in because we're <laughs> mad as fuck, and you know? it's fun, and <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, for sure. Nah, you're right. You're right. I mean, I don't know, bro. I mean, I feel like. 
I feel like the. I mean, you know, I feel like women are open. You know what I mean? Like we'll find some. It ain't really. I don't think it's. It'll be hard. Like, yeah, we we in a hurry or anything. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. No, not at all. It ain't hard, you know. But um. But uh, it is what it is, partner. But yeah, man. I think I'm ready for another beer. Dog. Find uh every every uh women and men find more uh more partners that are more aligned with you. You know yeah. what I mean? Seventy to like ninety percent. Like I said, you're not gonna find uh a hundred percent partners because that shit is impossible. But the thing is, is uh. If you can limit the problems and the differences and the ideas and the values and the, you know, all that, I feel like that's going to, that's going to prevent less problems, which means you're going to just have longer, you know, happier in relationships and just longevity in general. You know what I mean? Fine girls on Christian Mingle. <laughs> that's what I got right now. <laughs> Hell no, bro. Those are the wildest ones. Nah, I'm just playing. That's it. Hey, you know what? Maybe, right? I mean, because I only be on like Tinder and Bumble. Fine, girl. I don't have no type of dating app. You don't? Nothing. Why Just not? the gram, dog. Maybe. Hey. Twitter ain't even popping for me, but I have a Twitter. Yeah, Twitter's pop- popping for me. Twitter's popping for me? That helps me. Not yeah. me, that helps me a little bit. <laughs> I got like my fucking 50 followers and shit. <laughs> Strong, baby. Follow me on Twitter. That's funny, bro. Yeah. yeah, don't follow me on Twitter. You'll be <laughs> bored as fuck. I don't even post and shit. I just seriously, I just look at dickhead arguing with other broads and shit. And, Yo, uh, you right? Feminists and I just get and a shit. Kick out of that. I get huh? notifications for your dumbass fucking Doug. Rob's over here arguing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, hey, man. Well, me and uh, me and Hollywood were talking about Hinge, dude. That should pop in, bro. Well, that's where fucking homegirl was at. Homegirl. Oh yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was telling you. I was telling What's you. Sub Hollywood. I was like, what? Dog? <laughs> hey, hey, tell me, tell me the truth right here. I, I, hey, hey, we're gonna be on the podcast. We're gonna get this verified. Oh, did uh, to who, all my seven fucking viewers right now? Who hit up who first? I have no idea. Oh, I thought you I knew. I don't have an idea. Oh, okay. I don't know. Does it start with a like, like a like photo? Yeah. So this is how it goes. This is this is what works. she told me. Yeah. Like. See, that's it, what we need Hollywood. It, it can come into screen. It can come into screen. And then you can like or not like. She said she'd not liked him, right? She did not like him. Right. Me. But but even though you already unliked him, <clears throat> on his side, later on, she can come in his screen and she could like him. He could like her. And then she'll be notified like, oh, he liked him even though you didn't like him. And she's like, all right, I liked him. That's what she said happened. What? And then uh, they started Because you talking. message on there, right? Like, hey, what's yeah, up? Hey, yeah, what's straight up, up messaging. Up? Yeah. Because I remember he showed me like a bunch, dog. Like, what's good? Dude, you know he said they were talking. She told me that they were talking a grip, but yeah. like as friends. She's, yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah, I see some shit. Well, because she was saying but that. I didn't read them, but I just, you know, I was like, damn, I was like, damn, motherfucker. But he knows how to talk, though. That motherfucker can talk, bro. But but you don't want that though. Mm. If you're trying to seal the deal, I don't like fucking texting. By the way, yeah, I hate that shit. I kind of like FaceTiming too. Yeah, but I do hit like me up that. On FaceTime. Let me see your I'll, lips. Yeah, let me see what you're wearing. Let me see the corns. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me see the I'm eyebrows. all about that shit because you know I get shit crossed quicker than I can on text and shit. You know, yeah. you can't get my humor on text, dog. If I say like, if I say fuck you, you're gonna be like, oh shit, he's mad. Yeah, you're right. No, oh, you're right. Mad. You're right. That literally happened to me yesterday. Dude, that shit happens to me all the time. I was right? telling some chick like, like you can't da, 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 da. get my fucking sense of humor through a text message. Yeah, dog, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, I could like just yesterday she was like, uh, "I'm uh, a texter. I'm not a texter. Hit me up on uh, Facetime or call me." Some girl, was, some girl I'm you're talking so bad to. At texting. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Yeah, some random girl I was talking to, or some girl that I've been talking to, she was like, I put never mind, and she's all like, yo, if you're going to have animosity to me, I don't even want to talk to you. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Jesus Christ. I was like, I didn't know that was, you know, trying to hang out was hostile. She's like, the never mind was. I'm like, bitch, you did that to me Saturday. What the fuck? Damn. And I'm like, and I, I don't know, it was all bad. I had a fucking bad track, because I don't want to lose that one. I like her. No, I, I, I like talking on the phone, bro. That's way better for me. I just don't I, have I, the maybe time, I'm old though. I'm old school, I just don't have the time, dog. I'm old school, dog. <laughs> Old school, go Old write a letter school. then. Ch- ch- write a my, fucking letter. Where pen pals at? With a fucking smoke signal. Whatever. You're stupid. Bat signal, motherfucker. You're a schmuck. Nah, I'd rather do that shit because, uh, and then that's it, dog. Like, all right, laters. <laughs> Hit me up fucking later or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I will not answer a phone call, but if you text me right after, I'll be like, what? No one gives a call? fuck about that. Who is that, a chick? I'm just, I'm just reading the shit that right. I'm getting right here. I don't give a damn. All right, dog. It's about an hour. You, you good on this? I think we're done here. Yeah, we done. We closing now. That one was we, good, we, man. We going all day, dog. I we feel like we could. Go. Yeah, and I'm ready to smoke my blunt. Oh, Lord. All right, guys. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hey, let me know in the comments what you guys want uh, want to talk about. And honestly, if you want to jump on, just hit me up. You guys Let's can go. jump on for real. Talk some shit. 
Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. Later.